Welcome to my tutorials. My names are Mushiri Maikon Joki. Today we are learning how to write a simple Java program using NetBeans IDE. IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. IDEs facilitate developers to develop new applications. The advantage of using IDE includes fast development of program and easy debugging and testing of the applications. Other IDEs for Java includes BlueJ, Eclipse, among many others. For this tutorial, we are going to use NetBeans 8.02 or above. So we are going to write the simple Java application on our NetBeans ID. So we start by creating a new project. So to create a new project, you go to File. Then you go to New Project. Then you go to Java and then Java application and you click next. So you choose the name of your project. In this case, you're going to call it simple Java. We can let the system um, create a main class for us. The main class is the class with the main method. The main method is the place at which the system starts executing your code. Any Java program should have at least one main method. So we click finish. And here we are. So this is our project it has created the simple java class for us you can see the beauty of ide is that it has written part of the code for us and uh, what is remaining is for us to write the statement to be executed when we run our program so as i had said earlier the java program or system starts executing from the main method. So it is in the main method that we are going to write the statements that we are that are going to be executed by our Java program. So in this case we want to our system to display the words Java is simple. So we say system dot out dot print ln so we say java is simple then uh, you must always close your statement with a semicolon so to display anything on the screen you call the method system.out.println then you put whatever you want to be displayed in in double quotes and then you put the semicolon so we can have our we can run our system and we see how it behaves so to run the system you either click the green button up here or you can go to the main to the menu and you go to the run menu and you click run project So once the system is run, the output is displayed here and you can see our message Java is simple has been displayed. So you can try this at home, create your own class and put some messages to be displayed. I want us to look more on this method for displaying um, the output on the screen. So you can say system.out.println. So this ln here helps the system 
or tell the system to move to the next line after displaying whatever it is we want to display. So let us add another line and we see how this works. So we are going to display something else. We say Java is simple. I have done it. So if we run, because of this ln, we write Java is simple and then it will add another line down there below. So let us run this and we see the, exp uh, the output. You can see it is saying Java is simple. I have done it. If we remove the ln here, let's remove that and see what happens. System.out.print without the ln, then we can put some space here to separate the two sentences. What happens is that after displaying this message, it will move on and display the next message without moving to the next line. And we can add another output here so that we compare when we have put the ln and when we have not. So this one has ln, which means after the end, then it will move to the next line before we display this message. So let me put this message and say, you can also try. So if we display this now, we'll see the effect of not putting ln and the effect of putting ln in our output. So let's now run our program and we see the output. Very good. You can see the first line is Java is simple. Then continue on the same line. We say I have done it. Then we move on to the next line and it says you can also try. Very good. You can try this also at home and you see how this works. Thank you.